Hi everyone! Welcome to Tea Talk with Ayumi. Brewing financial conversations one sip at a time. So for today's video, we will be talking about 5 questions to inspire and get started in saving. Question number one, what are my financial goals? The first step in saving effectively is defining kung saan papupunta ang pera or ang pera na isa-save ninyo. So, there are two. We have the long-term goals and the short-term goals. Short-term financial objectives are goals achievable within one to three years focusing on immediate needs like um, building an emergency fund, paying off debt, creating a budget, or saving for short-term goals and establishing a good credit. So, yun yung short-term, yun yung um, achievable na mga goals within a, in a span of one to three years. It, it's always best to identify kung ano yung goals nyo, both short-term and long-term goals. Now, we'll talk about long-term goals. So, long-term goals, ito yung goals na achievable within, let's say, five years or so, di ba? It involves a larger sums of money. So, examples include savings for retirement. Siyempre, kung mag-retire na kayo, hindi na stable ang income. Depende kung mag-business kayo. Or, siyempre, kung retire na, gusto niyo na lang magpahinga. So, you, you need to save. That's enough for you to be comfortable when you retire. And other than that, long-term goals as well includes investing for wealth accumulation, funding education for your children, and purchasing a home or properties or any real estate planning. Kasi, of course, buying a property involves a huge or a large amount of money. It falls under the category of a long-term goal. It's best to define kung ano yung goals ninyo, yung inyong financial goals, and that will motivate you or will inspire you into saving or to start saving if hindi pa kayo nag-start mag-save. Question number two, what are my current expenses? So, to determine your current expenses, you can start by listing off kung ano yung mga kailangan yung bayaran tulad ng bills, orders ninyo online, bills that includes rent or mortgage if you're paying for that, and also utilities, groceries, and transportation costs if you're like gas or if you take me or taxi going to work, then it's best to list that one out as well. It's small amount lang yan. That's still very important when it comes to budgeting. And also, if meron kayong insurance premiums, then list all of that down. And if meron kayong loan, let's say sa SSS or Pag-ibig, then you also have to take note of that. Any expenses na kailangan yung bayaran, you have to take note or list all of that. Yan kasi is one way for you to track your expenses kasi makikita nyo talaga kung saan napupunta yung pera. Also, dun yung makikita kung ano yung part ng expenses nyo na masyadong nagko-consume sa inyong income. But in that case, ma-adjust nyo ang inyong expenses or mababudget nyo ng maayos ang inyong income or ang inyong pera. Question number three, what is my savings plan? In question number two, di ba, you have to list down all your expenses. Once na na-list down nyo ng expenses nyo, you have to calculate kung how much yung malalaan yung amount from your income to your savings. Mas mabilis ma-identify kasi kung how much yung malalagay nyo sa savings, kung alam nyo kung magkano din yung masaspend nyo sa expenses, so makakalculate nyo siya ng maayos. So you have to consider automating your savings by setting up automatic transfer from your bank to your savings account. To your, if you have an online bank kung saan pumapasok yung sweldo nyo, then pwede kayong mag-set ng automatic transfer. I believe na mentioned ko na ito sa previous videos, but that's really highly recommended. Siguro, reward natin ang sarili natin. There, there, there's no, there's nothing wrong with rewarding yourself, but make sure din na meron kayong malagay sa savings kasi the best thing na may bibigay nyo sa sarili nyo is having savings. So, dito, pag na-calculate na siya ng maayos, hindi rin siya yung tipong tira-tira lang yung ilalagay niyo sa savings. Always make sure to prioritize your savings kung gusto niyo talagang makaipon. So, question number four. What are my savings strategies? So, isha-share ko sa inyo ang three strategies na pwede niyong gawin 
So first, as I've mentioned earlier, mag-set up kayo ng automatic transfer from your payroll bank to your savings account. So to your payroll account, to your savings account, to ensure na meron talagang malalagay na money sa inyong savings account or meron talagang malalagay sa savings account nyo. Second is reduce expenses. So sa question number two, if na-list down nyo na yung expenses ninyo, then that's the best way um, na makita ninyo kung saan or ano yung expenses ninyo na kailangan nyong i-reduce. So, tip number three is increase income. So, you can explore ways to boost your income such as taking on a side hustle. Aside sa side hustle, pwede kayong mag-pursue ng career advancement or promotion. And pwede kayong mag-freelance. Uh, ano yung income na nakukuha niyo doon, i-allocate niyo siya sa savings ninyo. So, question number five. How can I stay motivated? It, it's important to recognize that um, setbacks are a natural part of any journey towards financial freedom. So, don't get demotivated or distracted by that. That's totally normal. It can happen. Uh, just prepare yourself and learn from it. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video na ito. Please don't forget to visit www.gameape.cc if you want to earn extra and become an affiliate, just message or chat support to ask for the requirements and how to register. So yun, yeah, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, Game Ape Philippines. Bye!